Hey guys, I just finished IDOU's creative collaboration course and I thought I would make a video so that I can talk about how I thought the course went, what I liked about it, what I disliked about it, and all of my thoughts and opinions based on my experience in case I can help you guys decide on whether or not you want to take the course for yourself. I chose to take this course because it had been about two years since I had last taken any like course or gotten a certificate for my design career. And I chose this course specifically because I was at a point in my career where I don't really need like a general UX design course, but I thought what would be best for my career was to get more leadership skills, learn how to better facilitate, and also just get like more tips on creating a good environment for a design team, which all honestly worked out so well because I am in a role as a lead product designer so this course has been extremely helpful and at the right time for me to take and also ideo just has a really great reputation in the design community so with all that said like that's why i went for this course so let's jump right into the course details the course itself takes about four to five weeks to complete and you have to finish it within that period of time which makes a lot of sense because a lot of how you get the points and how you like complete the course is based on the feedback that you give others and getting feedback yourself for completing assignments. So this is a course you have to take with other people online and then after those five weeks are done, the course is locked so you can't get back into submitting tasks or doing anything else. Like you have to finish it within that period of time. And this course is based around a cohort so you're taking the course with, I think in my group there were about 15 to 20 people who were taking the course at the same time and most of the people in the course were based out of Europe or they were in the US. I think there were only like two of us that were from Canada, oddly both from Alberta, but yeah like there's just people from everywhere so there's a lot of different time zones and they say you are also expected to have about four hours of work per week. Luckily because I was doing this course through my company I was able to use work time to work on the course at the same time. So I didn't have to take time on like weeknights or weekends in order to complete it. And finally for the price it was a $5.99 in US dollars which is like $7.60, $7.80 I think at the time that I took it in Canadian dollars for the conversion rate and I think in euros around that time it was probably like 530 euros. Luckily I was able to get it done through my company that I was working with and I was able to expense the course through them. So for the actual course work and assignments, every single week in the course had its own unique theme to it that would be the basis of your assignment. And before the course actually started, you were told to book three separate workshops so that you can facilitate what you need to in order to complete the assignment. So in the first week, your assignment was to have a workshop where you can craft agreements with your team. These are like things that you guys all agree every workshop or every meeting should have. Really common agreements are like, um, everyone has to arrive on time. Everyone has to keep their camera on or off. Basically, they're like based around responsibility, professionalism, and honestly, just trying to create a safe psychological space for people to share their opinions and to give feedback and to have ideas. In the second week, it was about divergent and convergent thinking. So you would be able to choose whether or not you wanted to run a workshop for divergent thinking or convergent thinking. In the third week, it was all about addressing a tension in your team, and that would be your three workshops already. So crafting agreement workshop, diverge or convergence workshop, and then your tension workshop. And then the final week, which is the fourth week, is the one where you would do a whole self-reflection on how you feel from where you started in the course to how you feel now. And I guess the fifth week was just there in case anyone needed extra time. Each course also has different modules where you're able to earn stars in order to complete it. First you would have to watch this video and then you would have to answer a question on it. Then you would submit it and that's how you complete that module and you can move on to the next one. There are videos, there are like articles you have to read and there's also just general like personal reflection but the biggest one is always the assignment. Once you submit it everyone else in the course can take a look at it including the TAs and just other participants and they would be able to leave a comment and give you some feedback or help you and give you some tips or something. But for every assignment, like you would have to submit the assignment, which is one step, and you would have to read at least like two or three other assignments and leave feedback on them as well. That would be like the general structure of how you would complete 
every single week. Along with the assignments and the workbook, there was also supplementary material. So the first thing was collaborative chats with the cohort. There were three different times that you can choose in order to talk to people in your cohort who would also like schedule that time. And there was always going to be a TA in each of them. There was only one available for me that wasn't at like three or four in the morning. And it happened to be on like a Wednesday at 2 p.m., which is when I had like a standing meeting every single week. So I didn't actually attend any of the collaborative chats. Yeah, I guess the timing just wasn't right for me in that case. To start off the things that I liked, I really enjoyed having peer feedback. So you have to read everyone's assignments and like in those assignments, you get a context of the work environment they're in. And you also get like how they set up their workshop, how it actually went, their reflection and their questions. And there was actually like a point right at the very beginning where someone asked just like, how secure is this? Like this, this is going to be published live or somewhere on the internet. And they assured us that it wasn't going to be. So I think that just like gave people a lot more confidence and like made them feel a lot more comfortable in sharing what was going on, which is really important in order for you to get like the most value out of this course. I think it was very refreshing and also in a way like validating for me to see that other organizations and companies were struggling with the same thing that my company was struggling with. Many of the people who took the course were in like manager roles or lead roles or director kind of levels, so levels higher than I was at. And it made me feel like I was in the right place because where they were was where I wanted to be in the future. And because we were told that everything was going to be secure, I feel like everyone was pretty genuine about their struggles and their frustrations and I feel like it was just a very safe space for all of us to share what we were dealing with. Another thing I liked was the bonus material, like the supplementary material, even though I didn't get a chance to go into the collaborative chats, like I feel like it was still really helpful. Like I ended up reading a lot of those articles and I've kind of thumbed through the pages of some of the books that they mentioned and I thought they recommended like really good material for us to continue learning. Another thing that I really liked was how the workbook would actually guide you on how you can facilitate your workshops. There happened to be a few things that I did, but I didn't realize there was actually a name to that I learned through this course. And it really helped me feel more confident and it really helped validate my decision making and strategy when I saw that, oh, I, I've done some of this before or I did this and I just didn't know what it was called. But it was really nice having like a workbook that would actually guide you through all the things that you have to think about when facilitating workshops for a team. I also really like how I felt like I could be honest in the course. Like I definitely felt very safe sharing my opinions and you're honestly just, you're gonna get the most out of this course if you're honest with yourself. So like be honest about your own shortcomings and be honest about what you're dealing with day to day. And for myself, like, I really had to come face to face, especially during the third week when it came to talking about tension, like just how uncomfortable tension and dealing with confrontation was for me. And a couple other things that I really liked about this course were just how heavily the self-reflection portion of it was in focus. Like I think that is so important and it's helped me realize so many things. And also, <laughs> I, didn't, I liked how there wasn't a test at the end. I'm not a very good test taker, so sometimes like I, don't do a course because I'm like, oh, there's a test at the end and I don't want to fail it and risk losing money or whatever. So I'm just happy that there wasn't a test at the end that I had to complete. As for things that I didn't like, um, the course was created in 2019 and a lot of things in the world had changed since then. So I feel like the, there are parts of the course that weren't very relatable and I wish they took the time to update that. So in one section in the course, they're talking about like, how can you create a better envir office environment for your team? Or, And one of the suggestions they made in the video was like, you should all go out for lunch together on Wednesdays. And it's like, every single one of us is working remotely. Um, I really wish I would have updated the course, but yeah, that's, that's definitely like something that I don't know, it wasn't much value for me. Another big thing and maybe like a deal breaker for some people when deciding to take the course is that there was no one-on-one -on -one time. Like the mentors that they advertise on the course website, like they're not actually there for you. Like they're not there because they're just there in the video that you're watching. We also had TAs and the TAs would say hi and they would comment on some things. And I'm sure like if I was more active in the collaborative chats, then 
I would actually have some FaceTime with the TA, but you never get one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with a TA. You never really get like them looking at your assignment consistently. Like, and I can understand that because they do like have a lot of courses running at the same time from IDOU. So it, may, it would be pretty difficult for them to like try to schedule one-on-ones with every single participant. But yeah, if it's really important for you to have one-on-ones with a mentor or with a teaching assistant, then you're not gonna get it here. So um, if that's a deal breaker for you, then like maybe this course isn't the right one for you. Another thing I disliked was that the reflections felt very redundant. Like I wish they were tailored more to the theme of every week, but each reflection was just like, what made you feel comfortable? Why, what didn't make you feel comfortable and why? And like, what can you do in the future? And like, yeah, those are good questions. But if you're answering the same four reflection questions every single week for like four weeks straight, it's kind of, it's really redundant. And I wish they would have like asked better questions in the reflection. And the last thing that I disliked was the PDFs of the workbooks. So there are instances in the workbook where they're asking you to like fill out this pie chart or draw a line to indicate like your emotions through your course or something like that. And it's in a PDF, right? So like, what do you expect people without the proper software to do? Like if you don't have Illustrator or if you don't have like a pro version of Adobe Acrobat or some kind of PDF editor, like what, what do you do at that point? I just thought it was so weird how it was in that kind of format because it made it so like frustrating to have to edit in and I feel like they could have chosen something more accessible. So final thoughts, yes I definitely feel like it was valuable and I really enjoyed the course and I learned a lot and honestly like if I find something else that I like I would probably take another course with them. I think the thing is like with all online courses it's really up to you and the amount of effort and like just how serious you're willing to take it. Like for this course and I'm sure with a lot of other online courses if you wanted to try and like bulldoze your way through it in like a week or whatever then yeah you can but your work is probably gonna suck and you're probably not gonna learn anything so it's really up to you to like actually be motivated and disciplined to take the time and really put effort into your work. Honestly, it's like that with a lot of things, but I think especially with online courses, like that's how you get the most value out of them. And I think a lot of it is just like, how deeply are you willing to reflect? Like don't, don't half ass it, like just put your full ass on it and like get it done and really try to dig deeper. And finally, I would recommend this course, but only for designers who are senior level and up. There's definitely value for a junior or an intermediate designer to take this course, but I feel like the timing just isn't right for, for someone in those positions because a lot of what you're doing in this course is about leadership and building those leadership skills. Yeah, you can start building those skills as, as a junior or intermediate, but there's so many other things that you have to learn. Like you have to learn a lot of the foundations of being a UX designer first before you can really get into a position where you can teach or lead a team. But yeah, I think that takes us to the end of my video and to my review of IDOU's creative collaboration course. I definitely feel like I gained a lot from this course and I'm very satisfied and happy that I was able to take it, especially as someone who is entering into a lead product designer role. I feel like a lot of what I learned is going to be helpful in building out that creative team for, for our company. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye!